It's time again for another installment of The Basics, and on today's show, going back into the Star Trek CCG, I want to address some concerns people have about side decks. More specifically, the amount of cards that are involved in each side deck. Now, I'm going to be highlighting the four main side decks in the game, and I'm going to explain the amount of cards you can have in each side deck and the type of cards. Let's get started, shall we? Now, side decks have always been a huge part of the Star Trek CCG, and it goes all the way back to the Q Continuum expansion, which gave us two different side decks to choose from. As we got further into more expansions, different side decks popped up, letting us do different things with different cards, occasionally bringing out a new class of card to be used with the side deck. There still is confusion to this day regarding the type of cards that can be used in these side decks, as well as the number of those cards. So let me get right into this with you, starting with, and I know I'm going to take heat for this, the Zalconian Storage Capsule. This is an event card, plays on table, each turn you may store one hand card here, may be returned to hand at any time. If destroyed, shuffle stored cards and place group on top or bottom of draw deck. Very self-explanatory, you can store any cards from your hand, it does not matter. If your opponent does have something that gets rid of events, it becomes a moot point. That's why I've never known hardly anyone to use this, but it is considered a sidebar. Next, we move on to the side deck side deck. Again, from the Q's Continuum Expansion, the Q's Tent. Basically, 13 cards are allowed in the side deck. They can be anything. Events, artifacts, doorways, interrupts, personnel, ships, downloadable cards, whatever you want, but only 13. No, there was not an addendum to the rules to turn this into 15 cards. That is gross misinformation, and believe it or not, I've heard experienced players tell least experienced players, oh yeah, you can have up to 15. That's an instant disqualification. Don't do that. It's 13 cards with the Q's tent. Blaze of Glory brought us the Battle Bridge side deck, which is opened with the Battle Bridge door. Now, in this side deck, you can only use tactic cards, but there is no limit on the number of tactic cards you can use in this side deck. You can use multiple of the same tactic card if you want. You can cram in there as many tactic cards as you feel necessary. Again, though, as you heard me talk about in a previous episode about the triple side deck, the more cards, the more you're going to slow the game down because you're going to have more things to do. So... You have to find the right balance. But again, no limit, but only tactic cards. Finally, and you've seen me talk about this in the, in the previous episode I just mentioned, the triple side deck, which is open with the storage compartment door. There are no limit to the amount of cards you can have in this side deck. They are mainly, though, only two types of cards in this side deck, which are the trouble cards and the triple cards. It's that simple. A side deck can be a powerful thing to have in addition to your main deck, but it can also be a problem and it can slow the game down. So you have to choose which side deck is right for you, or you can experiment with having multiple side decks. Not something I recommend only because I tried it and that's a lot to keep track of. Maximum two side decks, I stick with just one myself. Now, that all being said, side decks can be a lot of fun. They have a lot of usefulness in the Star Trek CCG, but you have to know how to use them. You have to know what kind of cards to put in them, how many of those cards to have in the side deck, and which one is right for you in addition to your draw deck for it to be used to its full potential in the game. Keep that in mind, all of that in mind, when you're putting together your side deck. The next time you're building a deck for the Star Trek CCG. Have a great day, everybody.